I got to play the Halo in Infinite um, uh, beta. Uh, more battle rifles, please. <laughs> please, just more battle rifles spawn. Spawn with the battle rifle. Just give me BR starts. That's all I want. Also, shout out to my friend Joey for loaning me this mat. Ugh. Don't put the deck over the Dragon Eye, because it's the, the coolest best part. part. It's the best part. There's no good place to put the deck on this. Oh, it's so good. it's also good. It's also good. You got anything else? Is that it? This is... This is I have to put it there, though. Yeah, okay. this, is, this is good. Oh, my God, deck. All right, well... Oh, Tushy. Oh, shit. Okay, well... <laughs> oh, wait, can I, I can do an activation and make it fizz. I mean, you can't make it fizz, because I have so many water monsters. Okay, well, I could, though. Substitute. Yeah, get that shit out of here. Probably anyway. Yeah, I mean, Treeborn's annoying, but Substitute is the card. All right, more right. Yeah. Probably these two. What were the other cards you had in there? Treeborn and Cold Wave. Cold Wave. Fur. Yeah. If I if I if I draw it, I win the game. Well, Not necessarily. You have it. <laughs> so. I have. No, if I, no, if I draw the guy, you need the guy. Draw three cards. One, that's not the guy. You're not the guy. Two. All right, so check this out. <laughs> Would you like to see me do it again? Putting back flip flop and something else. Entry worn. Ah, okay. Did I draw three there? Or did I only draw two? You drew three. I heard you count three. <laughs> okay, because I have five. Two. Okay, cool. Third. Yeah, because I dash did you for one of them. The Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game is comical. There you go. That deck can run all of the three really good spell and trap removal cards. There's a way to like do shenanigans, and I just don't want to do it right now. So uh, summon. It's the frog. Effect of the frog. Yeah. He's gonna put the guy that I put back into the graveyard. Hey, look, there he is. There's the guy. What if I had the flip flop again, again and I could bounce the normal summon another frog and I normal summon flip flop and then set it? What does flip flop do when it's flipped? It bounces monsters on your side of the field equal to the number of frogs I have in the field. Does it count itself? It counts itself, yeah. Okay. okay. Doesn't say excluding itself. Neat. I know that, I can read German. <laughs> uh, go for it though, we don't have it. Fluently. Oh no, no. <sighs> 17. Gores. Not a not a fast start. Sick. Remarkably excited. Now we wall up so we don't die. But he has cold wave. Right up. Which makes me want to die, yeah. I didn't practice the combo if I only can get three things. Because if I get treeborn frog. Oh yeah. Because I don't want, because I sack frog and token if I wanted to keep the 2700 beater, but I don't know how much value that has here. Beats. It's like, I don't know if it has value. It's, it might be better. Because, like, I don't know. It's hard to describe. I can do what I want, though. Do what you want. I can do what I want, essentially. Are you going to uh, so, Yeah, we're going to We're going to get it for. For poops and giggles, summon the guy. Okay. Yeah, he does not have it yet. Exciting. Uh, yeah, effect of the guy. Yeah. And you just have a tree born. That's fine. Um, I'm going to attack. Those two cards. That's not so fun. Hmm. You got that cold wave in there. You're darn right, I do. Uh, go ahead. I've never played this deck against an actual deck, so... <laughs> it gets a real deck. I don't know if this is even... No, no, it gets a deck. I've never played this deck before. Oh, you mean like fishbowl only? Like, yeah, fishbowls only. I've only fishbowled it. Literally fishbowl. Literally fishbowl. What 
That doesn't do piercing. No, it doesn't. So it's like, if, if I do this, do I get back this just to have a body? Oh. Uh, I would keep that in your graveyard. I feel like it has more value in your graveyard. Right now it really doesn't, though. Why is that? Well, because it's... Just, I don't have... A... Then I just don't kill it. Well, that's fine. Then I don't die. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's wholly afraid of just dying. Well, that's what your deck does. It just, just drops the beak fish and then everything else dies. Yeah, so I don't know when to, like, like YOLO, like, go for things, or if I should... I, like, I just don't know. So I'm, like, slowly figuring out how to do that. It does have to be in defense position. What does? Oh, uh, this. Yeah. Like, I can put it in attack and then and then kill no. things. No. So that's actually... I can't kill it without synchroing, which is annoying. I probably need to... You have cold wind though, so realistically, and you still have. Well, I got that guy out of your hand, so unless you have another, I'm trying to figure out if you could do it next turn or not. What if and I like, don't even have I, the guy? I know, I'm, I, I have the way the options. I just I, that's that is something I have to do. I'm not gonna activate the fact. I'm just gonna make this guy. And I'm gonna run over that thing. I gotta pierce the guy. Oh, you have another one. Six hundred. That guy just comes back for free, and then you have two monsters. Set in that card. Pass. So, oh balls. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't have it. I, I had deck attack earlier. I felt like I had. Well, I mean, I, I have priority. You tribute it itself. Is that what you do? I mean, I so there's like a safe play, and there's not a safe play. The safe play is to tribute itself. Yeah. And the not safe play is to not tribute itself, but like, it's whether or not I want to do the not safe play or not. Because, like. Well, that was your normal summon. So how many cards do you have in your hand? None. So you can't kill me next turn? No. Not realistically. I mean, unless, I guess if you draw. If I get some weird shenanigans with Bayou. Well, and if you draw Blizzard, you could make Goyo, which is 51 total. So that doesn't kill me. So it's like, but I also need, I also don't want to just like take a whole bunch of damage. Right. Uh, we'll try the risky play tribute. Yeah. Fiendish chain. Oh, yeah. So this guy, effect. Yeah. You can just do the thing. Okay. Well, we'll just put another substitute in there. And then... I uh, had the third frog. Effect. Yep. Send. That guy. And then. No, I tribute this guy for. That. And then. Oh, do you have the dupe block? Uh, well, I've, I, I was thinking about doing dupe block, and I was thinking about just bouncing this to my hand. Yeah. So, because, like, it's either tribute this for the dupe and then go for the dupe block or go for... So it's whether or not I want to do dupe block or if I want swap frog in my hand. But if I go dupe block and you kill one of the dupes, then I get the swap frog anyway. So I think I am just going to go dupe block. But famous last words, right? Yeah. It's always famous last words. Okay. All right, you go. That is useless, right? Can't attack anything. Yeah, you can't attack either of them. I'm getting scabooped. Yeah, you're, you're good. I pass. I just wish I had this freaking. I, I do wish I had the value on the field right now. I feel a little more comfortable. So I bring back the frog. One, two, that guy, and that guy. 
I'll have you do it just so I can see it. I don't think I can stop you, and if you can kill me, you can kill me. Oh, I can kill you. Yeah. Yeah, you take 23 every time. I only take 500. Boss fighter. Armor arm. There it is. Clip. Token. You get a token. <laughs> and I get a token. Yeah. So even if I wanted to, I can make Stardust. Because <laughs> they have a level 3 water monster. So I can bring this back again and then make something with this. Barf. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you got it. Ram? Yeah. I didn't have... So the card that I'm actually that actually worried me there was um, if I bring back Treeborn Frog because I don't know if I want to bring back the frog because if I go Cold Wave, you go Compulse. I don't oh. have a Swap Frog anymore. Yeah. So I can't go Pitch Special. Yeah. I was I was afraid. So the reason I didn't want to do the risk risky play or whatever, I didn't want to lose both monsters because I was worried about Oppression. Yeah. Oppression was the card I was worried about. I wish I had Oppression. I wish I had Oppression face up when you Cold Wave. <laughs> You can't use it anyways. Oh, is it also their yeah. effects? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can't use it. I've never actually had that be relevant. Yeah, there's a, uh, a, a, a TC... I can't remember if it was a Pojo article or whatever, where it was like, you can flip it if you... You can chain it if you want, if you just want to, like, admire the art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get in hindsight, I probably should have made Brio instead of Armed Wing. Because Brio, I could have... Bounced your... I had two frogs, so bouncing the other frog wouldn't have done, me, done you much good. Right, but I could have gotten past the dupe block that way. And oh. I wouldn't have had monsters if what was on the field at that point was a... Oh, I wouldn't have double dupe blocked anyways if you had if done I had that. Brio. If yeah. you had Brio, I would not have dupe blocked. I would have just put the swap frog back in my hand and then got a guaranteed two. Just go cold wave. Treeborn swap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Treeborn swap. Yeah. Okay. I had enough cards. Then there's not much I could have done, I don't think. All right, I'll go first again. Uh, do I want to go first or do I want you to go? I think I'd like to go first just so I can set up an eruption, but... Going first is pretty good. So there's a bunch of scenarios with combos that I just, like, don't know if I have them or not. Uh, it's over to you. It's over to me. Uh, it's is... over for you. I have the high ground. I don't like this hand. I'm covering the eyeball. There's the eyeball. The swift. Yeah, effect of that guy. It, the effect is fine. Yeah. Okay. I just have to think, like, I don't know when to interrupt this deck. Like, if I have the ability to interrupt it, I don't know when to. The thing is, so, it, in my under, understanding of it, is if you can interrupt the setup, do like it. this part, yeah. If you can interrupt this part, do it, because... Then that's what I tried what, last time. If I'm dropping the guy, I'm also dropping a cold wave true nader heavy storm. Yeah. I'm gonna book him. So I can't keep doing it? Yeah. Okay. And so I can run something over. Yeah. You have four in hand, you didn't set anything more than one. This is actually good experience for me to learn. This is good experience for me because I'm trying to figure out if <laughs> I set things or if I do other, like what I do with my like hand here. Cause it's like, based on the game state, I think, I think you should go for it. I'm going to pass based on the game state. All right. Based on the game state. Based on the game state, I think I pass here and I'll explain why if we get to that point. Game state says... So I, because I, I always feel like I'm on a clock against this deck. That's kind of how it's supposed to make you feel. I think the deck makes people misplay when they don't know how to play against it. But like, I wouldn't know because it's the first time I've played <laughs> it. So, yeah, just getting like general impressions. All right, uh, battle phase. Yeah. Facts. Get your guy. Getting the guy. It's probably this. Oh, Armor Master is probably pretty good against that deck. How does that deck get over Armor Master? Probably Kaius. I equip Armor Arm to it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true, isn't it? <laughs> it gets wedge counters, but it doesn't matter yet. I win the game. 
I could put it in, a t in defense position, though. You get, you would actually make defense position... The defense position? Armor master? What do you do about it? What do I do? Kind of, like, I'm, I'm just sitting here thinking about that. Like, hmm. That doesn't even sound bad. Catastrophe is probably a problem for you, too. Unless you, you gotta get the Stardust on the field with it. Colossal Fighters are dark. Oh, poop. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is me like trying to brainstorm what to do about this deck when I don't know what to do about that deck. Ooh, it's really storming now. It is. I'm gonna get that guy. Stormy out of Monday, even though it's Sunday. I'm just, I'm just gonna get him out of there. What I know also messes with that deck is life point totals. If it's me having low, not you having high. Yeah, that's true. Cause you can just keep. Ugh. I'm gonna do it for now. Not Catasty. Because Catastro still gets donked by Caius. And you already have the Treeborn. That card gets donked by Caius. Are you gaining 600 life horns? Uh, I'm going to do this guy first. Oh, you didn't summon. That's right. I'm going to do that. Put that guy out there. Yeah. And then I... Oh, shoot. I didn't see it. Flinging cards. All right. Uh, now I'm getting some turn? Gotcha. Yeah. That's not a good Yu-Gi-Oh card. What are you doing, deck? This guy. Yeah. All right. What's the strat? What's the strat? Because you have Vayu. I do have Vayu. I have Vayu in that card. What is the strat? I think it's like, do we do you go for it or do you not go for it? Do you go for okay? So I think I'm trying to think what actually like scares me here, but I think this is still the correct play. Econ take. I, th doesn't, doesn't I well, I mean, I think I take this because like if I well, cause, okay, so here's the deal. So if I take this guy and I attack, I get colluded. If I take this guy, I can't attack. But I feel like this is safer for. Sure. Shenanigans. Okay. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna get my frog back. Yep. No summon this guy. Oh. Are we priority? Yeah, we're gonna priority factor. We're gonna discard the Metabo Shark. All right. That's once per turn. See, and I don't know if I have a response to the summon of that card. Like, do I do it to that card, or do I do it to the other cards? Like, <laughs> sounds like you have bottles. <laughs> like. What do I do? This guy's lingering effect is what when he's targeted? When he's targeted. So if you, you can't book him, you can't like fiendish chain if you ever try to do that. All I right. can just discard a card and stop it. That's fine. You're All good. Alright, he's fine. That's disgusting. <laughs> this guy didn't cold wave. It's as many as possible, which is obnoxious. Yeah, you have to fill your board. But the thing is what's well, like, funny, like if this card is forced to leave the field, you get five. <laughs> Yeah, that's the only downside is, is I drew a bunch of them. So, oh, so like, you have to get like the suboptimal. I think that's it. Oh, oh no, 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 I, that guy. <laughs> yeah, I drew this guy. I mean, you can still make the combo. Yeah, I still have the combo if you bottom with this. Which is funny. That guy's even a tuner, so you can do it a few different ways still. Yeah, so do you like do anything with this? Uh, I, I don't, I literally don't think I can, like... He normaled that guy. Oh, that's actually pretty amazing. What? Is this is this one I was like Oh no it is. I thought it was when this leaves the field. It's just it has to go to the graveyard. Yeah, so if you bottomless now, I lose these two and I don't get to do it, yeah. Uh, I was deba I wanted to wait for a colossal, but I realized those two are both <laughs> Yeah, so like if I if those if those two are both over fifteen. Yeah, yeah, these guys are he's sixteen, which is kinda skeet. So if I do this, I lose these two. So, so you could still make things, but not like game ending things at the very moment yeah because like i could make something with these yeah you can, you can still make things but i feel a bit better it's like it's whether or not i want to make like stardust to like protect me next turn because i can't make miss worm there's no water level eight so it's like stardust well, you know, thought you, ruler you know i have value 
plus that guy next turn too to get armor master. So I get I have a twenty five hundred meter next turn. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, good point. So it's like it's probably just thought ruler then. Cause I want to get one of these guys in my graveyard. They can't attack. <laughs> Ever or just this turn? Ever. Okay. None of the monsters they're effectively negated and they can't attack. So it's not quite summoner monk. Yeah. So like they're kind of bad. So I think you just get this guy. You get some life points. Yeah, just one of some of the that need the life points. It's just that Stardust is bad. It's like, is Colossal even like? Because Colossal, you can ram the Armor Master and then remove the wedge counter and its attack is zero, right? Or dies or I something. Remember, values negates the effects of whatever. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, Armor Master in general. So it's like, if do I want to make Thought Ruler? I want to classify. I just feel like Thought Ruler is just like safer. All right. Piss that I do the Metabo chart. <laughs> He didn't banish I, two if he came out. I could just make a Colossal Fighter. I think I, I would. That deck runs like two, right? I think I'm going to make Colossal Fighter. I, I've, I've, I've changed my decision. Okay. We're going to go Colossal. Retcon. Retcon, yeah. 400. Yes, I don't Do you have any know. Warriors? I don't, I don't know. Warriors. I don't check like Warriors. Corner. 400. All right. Go for it. Go for it. Ooh. Yu-Gi-Oh card. That does mean nothing, right? The only down say I can't get this off the board for sure. Oh god, what is What is what? What's the attack card? Of what? I think I remember it. So I think this is gonna be valid. Gale's thirteen. Thirteen, yeah. So uh but whirlwind. Oh, you're gonna cut? Special have. I, I mean, it's, it, it's not gonna matter, but yeah. He's fourteen. Oh, you're just gonna breal him? Yeah. Okay. Uh, discarding another pipe. Okay. Uh, and I will use that value plus this guy. Looking right at it for a solid two seconds. That card. All right. Uh, I think I killed a fish board with the armor master, so that gores is smaller if I run into it. Nope, no gores. Sick. Uh, that's over to you. Draw. Frog, of course. Frog, frog. Frog. When did Formula Monarch come out? Uh, Formula Synchron Star Trek Blast. Yeah, Formula Synchron. So, so next format. Yeah. Or yeah, September. Yeah, in the middle of September 10. Yeah. We're gonna launch some frogs for a while. I don't have any interruption. You can do it. <sighs> I'm mad. He's do you have you have cards? No. I have one card. In there. I I want to. This is not a frog. I want to get Unifrog. <laughs> <laughs> and you have this, so I can't make flip flop or dupe. So it's like Unifrog still the correct play. So you go dupe Unifrog because you have to attack the dupe. So you have to bounce the dupe and then attack the Unifrog, and it's like all right, fine. Uh, I need to send send a frog. Send a frog. Send yep. an aqua. Sorry, that card. If only Fishboard was not one. Oh, then it wouldn't work with the seal account, so. See, Burial's really good because I can't flip flop you. I could see that card being surprisingly annoying if I didn't have Brio. So, it's still correct to go here, tribute this, and then special a dupe. Poop dupe? So, I still have a frog on board. Yeah. That you have to discard to do things with. You have to go minus. Uh, attack you directly for 400 points of damage. And that pops this, right? What is yeah, that? it destroys the spell trap. So, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, uh, other than frog jamming, destroying the spell trap out of your controls. And you can attack directly. 
you use this to kill a Prussian. <laughs> and then, uh, Big P. Big P. Big P's are made of these. I don't like that. I could have done Unifrog. Oh, you could have done Unifrog first attack, main two, swap, bounce. Uh, that would have been better. That would have been better. I'm learning how to play frogs. When you fishbowl, you only have a main phase one. He's learning. Help. So I have to bounce that card, and then I attack A. You have to attack this. Which, I mean, you could just attack, attack, I guess. I mean, if that makes sense. You don't even have to bounce it now, because I didn't go double dupe. Because going double dupe is terrible. Yeah, I technically don't have to, but he's a 2k butt. Yeah. And I think I can kill you this turn unless you have cores, which I guess you realistically didn't have last turn, so... Oh, that deck probably also runs Trag. I don't know what my deck runs. Me either. I just built so, it. So, like, that over, that over, that... Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh, okay, okay. So, that over, that over, that... Can the monster what does this do when it dies? It adds a frog back here. Frog from deck or grave to hand. Okay, and then you get, like, a swap back. I could get one of these guys, yeah. Yeah. So I think, because you have three in hand, that's still enough for you to pitch and then to summon another Coelacanth and have a discard still. What's left in my deck to summon? That's true. I guess you don't <laughs> run a lot of those, do you? Do you only run one copy of those? Yeah, you don't want to run a bunch of break. You're supposed to win when you do it. Oh. <laughs> this is like... I guess I'll... I can... Can I just kill you if this goes through? Bam that get like a Kalut just to be big so that's so that's i thought i was i was confused by this and card i was like oh when it goes to the when it leaves bottomless is i'll get my token and i can still do the like, colossal armor on possibly yeah i don't know uh, i don't think i was reading the game state correctly i'm gonna bounce the duke because i win if you don't have a hand trap uh 14 over effect passed it already Uh, and then another Doesn't 14. Oh, I forgot about that card. <laughs> Poop nuggets. This got overextended. It's alright, Dark Hole isn't in the format. Vortex. Poop! You side deck Vortex for Dragon Turbo. Oh, uh, this I just rams into it. Alright, well, that's all I got then. Draw turn? Yep. Unfortunately, it might be all I have to. Oh, did I did I do? Oh, you bounced it. What am I, I thinking? Bounced it. What am I thinking? Where's one of my tree wards? Give me this guy. Give me the guy. Oh, I didn't send the other one from that. That deck has lad too, doesn't it? No. No. You just call fighter. <laughs> Streamline. It's called. It's the one track mind that you just don't even understand. Okay, okay, brother. Do you Listen. side the lads? Uh, I don't think so. I don't have my side deck built yet. Hold on. <laughs> So let me, let oh, me, it's right there. Let me think. Let me think. Let me th think. Bonk. I have to do a thing here. Activating the big thing. Can I be a sack of garbage? I, I think I may have been able to classify to armory arm if you gave me swap rock. Oh, like if I'd killed the dupe? If you'd killed the dupe, I think I might have been able to do it. But I have to think here. get enough monsters on the board. I don't think I can. I need a way to special summon. Oh, that was summoned up by you? Yeah. Yeah, so he's negated. You have nothing in hand. I yeah, can go... <laughs> what? I said, yeah, this is it. This is the whole package. Because I have one. I can beat over Brio. So, I mean, you could get... You can still get your... Uh, your fish borg. And then you can summon yeah. that guy. But that's but I don't still wanna... just... That's still just an eight. Which, I mean...
You can get it, and then you could sack these two for this. Do but you sack those two, or do you sack this guy? Do you have another card to bounce to recur that guy? What do you mean? Just like if I if I if I sack keep you, this you, on board? You could sack. Well, yeah, you could like sack that? those two in case you can do anything with that. <gasps> this one. <laughs> da da da. <laughs> Which card is worse to me right now? Which card is worse to me right now? Because like if you bounce these three and then you tack, or tack this, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> obviously. No, bounce, bounce these three. Leave this. So if you go, I can't. I don't know what I want. I think I, I think I pitched this dupe. I don't need the dupe. And then you go here. So this is twenty eight. So he's bigger than Missworm. So you kill, uh, kill the clue for fourteen, for extra damage. Everybody's got to be water, and they're all water. This one's wind, isn't it? Yeah, it's on. Yeah, it's a wind, yeah. It's wind. And then bounce everything. Yep. Uh, go for it. Draw the third clue. Come on. That's not the third clue. Hey, hitting the, uh, the, the... The world, the world mattered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did. It sure did. I mean, what do you... If I set something, you just Caius me. And none of the normal summons you have are big. So I'm just honestly going to pass. Just pass. Oh god, you're going to get adverse one of these days too. Darn friggin' right! <laughs> <laughs> At least I banished... Yeah, you banished two of the, the targets, target but I have three targets in my graveyard currently. Four targets in my graveyard. Do you run, how many of that card do you run? What, Royal Swamp Eel? No. Oh, uh, Oyster? Oh, yeah, Oyster Meister. Two. So there's, that, one my, there's one in my graveyard. Is that correct? I pitched it. Yeah. I pitched it, yeah. So I I switched out the third one for the Metablo Shark, because uh, the token was kind of clogging with three of them. Is it mandatory? It's mandatory, yeah. You can't okay. not get the token. <laughs> so what did you banish with, Gold Sark? Oh, Avers. Avers, yeah. Okay. Here, I'll put a little, little guy on there. Yeah, put that guy. All right, so the question is, I, I, cause like I'm not gonna get this, cause this is just like free real estate. Real. <laughs> sure, this is surely it's not that big of a deal. Twenty five. Gores. Yeah, I hope you don't play that card. Set this card pass. Set that card pass. So it's probably a frog with a big butt. Booty frog. <laughs> Booty frog. <laughs> You don't have the. You can bring it the level eight guy, don't you? Or do you use both your values? No, you bounced my. Oh yeah, I hit the. Oh you, yeah, you yeah. bounced it. You didn't put it back. This guy needs to draw the level five, say like five guy. Yeah, and then if I even if I did like I'd run into a two K blood. <laughs> ass ass. <laughs> yeah, even even uh uh substitute is two thousand defense. Yeah, they're all freaking big. Yeah, this guy's two thousand. They've all got really big butts. Uh, pass. Ooh, this is a big think. Oh, I'm not, I don't need a big think. Big, yeah. Count down your eyebrows, too. Unless uh, it doesn't matter. It, uh, I mean, Kai sacrifice. Oh, hey, look. You drew the card that I didn't want to draw. <laughs> and it's the big blood. <laughs> so you, you got it. Okay. I so burned, I burned for a thousand, then you just killed me. It was flip-flop. Yeah, okay, so it didn't matter anyway. So I was thinking about, I was like, I was like oh, flip-flop bounces. Like, wait a minute. Guys. I was cheeky. I, I said this, because you can. You can normal or set it. If you're, if you're. Is it really saying normal or set? It does. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for watching, guys.